Those demonstrations even happen right here in New Mexico. Our Joy Wayne gives us a look at the action being taken at Arbery's memory. Ahmad Arbery would have turned 26 today, and people across the country decided to run, walk, bike, jog, all in his memory, including right here in Albuquerque. That's a large, I think. If it weren't for the matching t shirts, we ready to go? Let's do it. Or the masks. Good job, good job. This would be a normal walk. Keep going, girls. A family, a group of friends outdoors. Oh, it's a heel. Enjoying themselves. <laughs> but on May 8th, Ahmad Arbery's birthday. So we're walking for 2.23 miles. Um, 223 was the date of Ahmad Arbery's death uh, when he was shot and killed and murdered senselessly in uh, Georgia. More than a thousand miles away in New Mexico, this walk symbolized a freedom that Gianna Prince says many in this country don't feel they have. You brought your kids along today. I did. That was important to you as well. I make sure that they stay aware, aware of what's going on in society. It's unfortunate that we have to continue to teach our children to be careful that when they walk out the door every day that just because of the color of their skin that they may not make it home. Prince says even something simple, like wearing a mask, something meant to protect people, is difficult. I, I can't even walk into uh, a bank looking like this, you know, with, with my glasses off and get a hello. When it comes to Ahmaud Arbery... Do you think anyone would have been arrested if it weren't for the public outcry? No, no I don't. And the only reason why they're doing anything now is because, not because they saw it, but because we saw it. And when the public eye is on it and there's pressure, pressure bust pipes. With each step, Prince says the pressure is building. I wish I could pick my knees up and run like that. And they wish Ahmaud Arbery could too. Joy Wang, KOB4.